So fans of the wildly popular Netflix series The Crown have waited a long time for this. Season four finally arriving this weekend. And today's senior international correspondent Keir Simmons had a chance to talk to some of the show's stars. We're jelly, Keir. We're jelly. <laughs> We've been waiting a long time. You know, guys, yesterday we were talking about the way that Prince Charles speaks, the way the Queen speaks. How about this for an example? Where most of us say yes, Prince Charles says yes. Now, the cast of The Crown are about to help you learn how you can speak like a royal too. As the new season starts, and get this for exciting, it's the Diana years. The thing I love about The Crown is that it's not a fairy tale. It really is actually about how miserable it is to be a member of the royal family. The Duke of Edinburgh was furious. Diana was miserable. Charles is miserable. Is that um, kind of what you take away from it, I guess? Is that why it's more interesting? We're all here to serve one person. There's only one person who really matters. It's obviously the Queen. Well, many congratulations. What was it about her that made the biggest impression on you? She was very original and uh, lots of fun. <laughs> and for you? No, he was simply marvellous. And there's that great scene between you and Josh where uh, you are obviously Diana and Josh is Charles and, and you're just so incapable of just kind of connecting. And if I may say, you both look very much in love. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Whatever in love means. You've got two people who find it very difficult to connect. So where do I fit in? You fit in because you're my wife. Um, and we've seen that recently. Even Prince Harry has, um, you know, complained about uh, the challenges of being a member of the royal family. That's kind of what the crown is all about, isn't it? They're human beings who are expected to behave not like human beings. and And... We, well, so many people expect certain things of them which I think are unreasonable. In every season of The Crown, the actors have to perfect those unique characteristics that make royals, well, royal. I asked Claire Foy and Matt Smith to give me some kind of uh, insight into how uh, the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh, and um, to their mannerisms. You develop little phrases like, oh, and right to kind of stop conversation. I see is a good one. I see. Oh. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> <laughs> and there, there she is, the Queen. <laughs> what are your favourite mannerisms of your, your character? Well, I think I do a, a thing, <laughs> do it a few times, where I take <laughs> my cufflinks and my pocket square and then wave. But How about what might seem like the simplest thing in the world? How to say yes, or as the royals say, yes. Say E-A-R-S. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I thought that was perfect, Olivia. That was, it was like you were the queen. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The queen's relationship with her prime ministers is a consistent theme in the crown. In season four, it's Britain's first female prime minister, Margaret Thatcher. A tense relationship. We are the same age after all. Really? Just six months between us. Oh? And who is the senior? I am. Ma'am. You know, during Thatcher's entire 11 years in office, she only brought one other woman into the cabinet. I'm assuming no women. Women? In cabinet? Oh, certainly not. One of the uh, things I think Americans find so fascinating about the royals and, and about the crown, this mystery of English class. You, you know, Margaret Thatcher is prime minister, but she's never really posh enough. She was very conscious of how she sounded and how she came across to the public. Well, my parents' generation who were told to change their accent if they wanted to go into a, you know, a, a job. Any... A, concerns about running into a member of the royal family in the future? I'd be quite nervous. I think it would be a bit like running into an ex at a party. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the idea of the royals watching? A little nervous? I hope they know it's done with respect and love, and hopefully they know that. And it is the series is loved because they are loved. 